Yo, howdy, welcome to today's episode of Tristan Take Video. I have just landed in Alicante, Spain, where Tudor Pro Cycling are doing their first training camp of the 2023 season. Over the next two days, I'm gonna be training with and talking to the riders of Tudor Pro Cycling. And in this episode, I wanna bring you guys a special behind the scenes look at what makes this team tick. Tudor Pro Cycling is a Swiss-based men's pro tour team, and they also have an under 23 development squad. So before I go too far, I've got my bike sitting next to me here. That needs to be built up. Then I'm gonna throw on some cycling kit and get out for a spin. This is my two days with Tudor Pro Cycling. Enjoy. Alrighty, welcome to day one of the Tudor Pro Cycling Training Camp. For me, the guys have actually been here for the last uh, 10 days or so. I'm riding with the team today while I go out and do a race simulation. We've got about 195 Ks on the cards. When I got here yesterday, it was super interesting. I actually went and joined the team for their team meeting in the evening. Now, every night the team has a team meeting where they sit down with all the riders, they discuss the ride from the day, and then they discuss the ride that's coming tomorrow. In this team meeting, they talk about things like tactics, ideas, they talk about training techniques. Last night, we had Fabian Cancellara there, who's the team owner, and he gave a whole bunch of advice so to have his level of experience giving advice on things like team time trialing, individual time trialing, and race tactics is massive. So that's one of the things about having one of the best cycling teams in the world is bringing the best minds and the most experienced riders into the team in order to give the team the best possible chance at winning bike races that they can have. For the moment, it's morning one for me. I'm about to go and grab some breakfast and then I'm gonna meet up with the guys down there and uh, we'll go out for a ride today and I'll have a chat with some of the riders. Chat to you soon. Of a decline. How are we this morning? Yeah, we have a nice sun. It's good weather. It's always sunny down here. Yeah, well, not always, but today it's really sunny. And uh, yeah, we're gonna have like a race simulation today. Yeah, there's a couple of different groups. There's like a, a sprint group and yeah. a climbers group. Yeah. You're obviously, this, you're the climber. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Is that correct? Um, no. No. <laughs> no. I'm, just... I'm pretty happy I'm with the sprint group because the climber group, I saw what they had to do today and it's. Uh, pretty massive. Tell me, what's your sprint group doing? Uh, we are in two groups and we're just gonna have a, like a race simulation, two race simulations and uh, a team time trial. So uh, we need to discuss tactics right now. I see you've had a bar swap on your on your bike as well. You got the 130 stem on today yeah. for the sprint day. Yeah, 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 especially for the sprint day. No, I, I wanted to try 130. Yeah, so that's why. Yeah, cool. Yeah. Let's, uh, let's ride, ride bikes. Yeah. For those efforts, always swim off to the right today, just so you're out of the way. We've done something, we got pulled over by the cops. Alexander Camp, tell me, what is this? There's a bit of a race going on here today. A local race for the young talents to try and see how, how good the talent is. They can be on the Tudor Pro Cycling team. For sure. Maybe they just get on the Devo team. Don't we have the scouts there? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> the scouts in the car behind. <clears throat> yeah, see them roll past, see their form, and then give them a contract if they look good.
So I'm with Kurt Bergen-Taylor here. The boys have just rolled out to do their race. Can you explain to me in the quickest possible fashion what they're about to go and do? So what we're trying to do today is replicate some situations regarding the sprint. We have a straight piece of road, 15K lap. We do 10K turning as a group to try and keep the pace nice and high, put a bit of fatigue in the legs. And then we have a 5K race situation where we have two teams and the aim is to try and put uh, one of your guys across the finish line first. Yeah, perfect. So uh, that's where we are. You go and do it. You. So the road that the boys are doing this on is a, a really quite a dead straight road. They've got a bit of a sort of triangle going on. They explained this in the uh, rider briefing last night, which was super interesting to see. But this road being a Sunday morning in Alicante is about the busiest place ever to do lead out practice. And that's evidenced by the fact that there's like three world tour teams or two world tour teams and a couple of pro 20 teams. So yeah, it's uh, it's quite exciting. It's quite cool to watch. Just waiting for them now. They're going to come through shortly and hopefully have a good little lead out there and uh, a sprint against each other. So whatever you do, even if you come across the line first, it's the sprint across the line first. You've got to win with the sprint at this time. Good job, everyone. Just tell me quickly, all right, so that was race number one. How was the performance? Are you happy? Yeah, race number one done. Uh, played out with uh, none of the sprinters uh, there. So they <laughs> instead they decided to uh, go on the attack and isolate the sprinters at the back and uh, take them out of the situation. So it was nice to see them tactically think about that. Yeah. What we've done to move forward in the next effort is said that now they have to win with a sprinter, okay? So now they have to protect that sprinter, work with that sprinter and then deliver that sprinter in a good way. So uh, that's the plan for the next one. Yeah, cool. Awesome. Alright, so I'm with Robin Frodo here. I'm gonna let you pronounce your name. How do we pronounce your surname? Fredbo. Fredbo. Yeah. You are the uh, current Swiss champion. Yeah. Riding around on that very nice BMC Team Machine SLR01. Just tell me about the efforts you were just doing. You guys were just doing like lead out practice into a sprint. Yeah, exactly, which we had two lead outs to do today. But the best sprinter was in the other team, so we had to try and, uh, and drop him or find another way to finish. And uh, Put him in the wind a bit or something? Yeah, we didn't, we didn't do it well and uh, we ended up losing the two rounds. Both of them? You lost both of them? Yeah. Well, I mean, that's not too bad. Arvid's a pretty good sprinter, so if you... I mean, I hear he hit in the mid 70 kilometers an hour in yeah. the sprint. Yeah, yeah, for sure. We knew in the sprint we had no chance. The other tactics we used didn't work as planned, so yeah. But it was really fun and yeah. really full gas. Yeah, it was really full gas? Yeah. I wasn't there with you, so I don't... I just saw everyone coming across the line in pieces. So you weren't really going 100%. Yeah, yeah. Mostly the first one from the start, it was flat out. The second one was way more controlled, uh, more of a lead out because the rule was only the sprinter can win. And the first one was anyone from the team. Oh. So it was a bit different efforts, yeah. So when you're doing lead outs like this, you're really focused on a very steady build up and up and up and up and up. But you want to keep it as, as sort of controlled as possible, yeah? Yeah, yeah. If you have the best sprinter, that's exactly what you want to do. We want to try and use the wind to make a difference, but uh, it was full tailwind, so it was it was too hard to do. Yeah, it was very, very high speed. Yeah, so uh, just a uh, cool effort for guys that can that enjoy pushing on the flat, really. Yeah, perfect. And then just a little coffee now, and then we roll home. Exactly. Another day in paradise. So, we've just come back here. Uh, I was just going to ask you about your day because I did 
like one hour less than you guys because I didn't do that uh, that race simulation. The race simulation for you was pretty good. Yeah, it was good. Uh, we had two race simulations. You I, won I, them I, both, right? Well, yeah, we, our team <laughs> won them both. Like the first one, I neutralized two guys of the other team. Okay. Uh, so then we had like more guys at the front, and they could finish it. So that was good. Okay. So and you then, didn't win the first one, but no, someone no, no. on your team won yeah, the first yeah, yeah. one. And then the second one, we had to lead our trains because it, it became a sprint. Yeah. And uh, it was nice. Uh, I finished it off, so that was that was good. Uh, I asked Arvid before about his power. Well, Arvid volunteered his power to me, but then said I can't film it and we can't talk <laughs> about it. But let's just say your power for that final sprint was somewhere between 1500 watts and 2000 watts. Somewhere roughly, roughly. In, in that ballpark. So uh, we won't say exactly what, but yeah. So you're obviously feeling pretty good start of the season now. Yeah, yeah. So you guys have done about five hours or so now. Time to go and recover and eat some lunch. Yep. Yeah, cool. Nice. And then we've got a big day tomorrow. Okay. Sweet. Cheers, man. Alrighty, so I'm here with Sebastian, who is head uh, performance director here, uh, director sportif. Today, Sebastian's following us in the car. Can you just quickly explain what we've got on? It's day two for me, but it's the final day of training for the boys. What have they got on the cards today? Yeah, exactly. So we are now already two weeks in the training camp, and um, today is the last day of training. Boys had really intensive training so far, especially last uh, two days we did some race simulation, uh, really high intensity, uh, long days as well. And today we just have an easy day to compensate a little bit for the intensity that we did. So today is only an easy ride, enjoying the last day in, uh, in the good weather conditions before the guys go back home to, uh, to Northern Europe. Yeah, cool, and get ready for racing. How are you feeling after two weeks of watching them? Do you feel like the uh, the trajectory is going in the right direction? Yeah, definitely. I mean, like it's it's a second camp that we that we have here in uh, in Spain. We had one in December already. That was good. Now comes the natural next step. Uh, we we increase intensity, we incre increase the load, and and the boys are going well. And then now we have uh, around ten days uh, to our first race. Everybody also now wants to wants to go out and, and finally race and yeah. and show off. Yeah, the motivation's high now. I can tell. So, yeah, cool. Cheers, man. Perfect. Thanks. Alrighty, so uh, we're about uh, 100 kilometers into our ride or so now. What have we done? Maybe three and a half hours. It's been pretty chill today, just tapping and yeah. enjoying. I'm sitting here, we're at the cafe. I'm with Tom Bowley, who is, uh, you spent five years at World Tour? Six years at World Tour? Um, actually seven. Seven years at the World Tour. Yeah. You've got a whole bunch of experience, but I'm not actually going to talk to you about cycling. I want to talk to you more about something that I found really interesting. Tom and I were talking about his interest in watchmaking. I love that. And obviously being on Tudor Pro Cycling is pretty cool. Tudor is obviously an incredible mechanical watchmaking company. They got links with Rolex, of course. The history of Tudor is with Rolex. Tell me about your team watch, the watch that all the riders get from Tudor. All the professional riders get a Tudor. Black Bay. Oh, it's a it's Black Bay a, chrono. Yeah, exactly. Okay. So it's it's a black. It's in fact also a black chronometer. Chronometer, like the dial is black. The case is uh, black steel, and uh, we have like some red accents in the in the in the dial and as well and on the on the wristband. And that's specific for the team. It's only for the for team riders. Like uh, riders, management, they all got a watch. But it will, as far as as I know, not be available in a, in ever to, to be to be to buy. It won't be available for no, purchase. No, exactly. Interesting. It won't be available. 
It's a beautiful piece. It's got a good weight to it. It's got a good feel and size and everything. Absolutely. Um, but tell me, you also were interested in watchmaking when you were younger? Yeah, so when I came out of high school, you have to choose a little bit your direction, what you want to do. And for me, it was either banking, like I wanted to, uh, to go maybe work for a bank, watchmaking, become a watchmaker, or uh, go to study at the university. So these were the, the three options that I gave myself. So, but watchmaking is such a big part of Swiss culture. And you said you, you finished your schooling in Beale, yes. which is where there's, I mean, Beale is an incredible watchmaking town. The entire town is built around watchmaking. I was there in uh, September last year and it was incredible to see the factories and things like that. So was it living there that got you interested or were you always interested? I mean, I was not always interested in, uh, in watches before, since I come out of a region where it's not uh, one of the biggest industries. But I, when I go, you go to school there, you have my, a lot of my friends. I still meet up nowadays. We're always making a, a wrist check, the watch we are wearing and uh, yeah, no, I, I got into watches for them. And so uh, getting the chance to ride for Tudor Pro Cycling, obviously watches have an involvement. Watch brands have always had involvements in sport, but Tudor's got such a focus on quality and performance and it matches very well it's, with it's, the philosophy of this yeah, team. It's absolutely, it's quite different than uh, when a watch brand just starts sponsoring a team instead of when they are bringing the team up themselves. For me, what, what I see, what I love about uh, about this team is also the, the commitments they have to, to the team. So the team philosophy is, it's obviously we are a team that's, uh, that wants to perform, we want to win, but what matters the most is the way you win, yeah. the way how you get there, the, the pathway, you win with dignity. dignity. And uh, that's really something that, uh, that really impressed me. Yeah, so Tudor has that philosophy, BMC has that philosophy, the team has that philosophy. Uh, so it's, a, it's an entire package. It's a nice pairing, like the pairing of Tudor and, and BMC. And... Yeah, cool. Awesome. Awesome. I'll leave you to uh, enjoy your carrot cake here. I'll go and get a coffee. Thanks a lot. Cool. Thanks, man. <laughs>so just back from riding day two with Tudor Pro Cycling that is the end of the training camp for the boys and uh, it's the end of my time with Tudor Pro Cycling it's been an awesome couple of days today's ride was really really enjoyable they were taking it a bit easier so not too much power on the pedals it was quite windy out there and initially when we rolled out this morning I was a bit nervous it was going to be super super windy all day but actually for me sitting behind them uh, it was no problem and for the boys I think they enjoyed just kind of taking it easier then we had a little coffee stop and then kind of made our way back to the hotel ended up with about just under 140 40 Ks. We did about 1800 meters of climbing or so. So a good day out and a nice way for the boys to end their training camp. I'm going to head down and grab some lunch now and uh, just go and say bye to everyone. Everyone's heading off tomorrow. A lot of the riders are actually going off to Silverstone in the UK to do aero testing in the wind tunnel with their TT bikes. Trying to dial in that position before the season starts and they've got TTs to race. And then others are going elsewhere to train. Some guys are going home. By the time this episode is live, they'll already be racing. So I just want to wish the boys all the best for the uh, racing and I want to say thank you so much to all the riders and the staff and the management for having me along to really learn more about the team and the way that it's growing so yeah I hope you guys have enjoyed if you have make sure to give the BMC YouTube channel a like and a subscribe and I hope you'll join me for more adventures like this I'll see you again soon cheers